Well, it was definitely a very interesting week in the markets. Uh, welcome everybody back to another Stock Market Outlook video brought to you by DeepView. As always, we're gonna run through the market indexes, leading groups, as well as leading stocks. And there's a lot to cover today, so make sure to stick around until the end. Uh, leave a like down below if you did enjoy, and go ahead and subscribe if you wanna see more videos just like this one every single week. As I mentioned, this is brought to you by DeepView. Uh, check out the link down below if you wanna check out the screening platform. This is the best charting screener, uh, you know, watch list manager, uh, you know, charting platform uh, for can slim swing and position traders. Highly recommend checking it out. We've got a special offer, two months for $39 running right now. And once again, that link is down below in the description. Uh, with that said, let's first take a look at the queues. Um, and you know, there's a lot to talk about. And really this move down started with a very subtle kind of expectation breaker, which is a pattern that I highly recommend you guys, you know, learn and, you know, not just learn and memorize, but kind of get the, um, psychology behind really. So taking a look at the cues here, this day right here, we had basically held the 21 EMA on this day, um, you know, not much going on here. And then we have, you know, a very strong day where we push up, you know, we gap up, push lower, then close really strong, very strong bar. It kind of negated this downside reversal, which was one of the first signs of weakness here on the queues. But we had a very strong bar pushing back up through the 21 EMA, which is this bolded moving average right here. And what is your expectation after a bar like this? Well, for me, we're pushing off the bottom of a base. If we kind of hide the price action um, to the right of that, we're pushing off these base lows. We're forming a flat base here. Um, you know, we've acted well. We've held that 21 EMA, um, you know, held these base lows after this reversal. There's no further move to the downside and we're pushing up. My expectation is that we're going to challenge these highs and likely, you know, push out of here and start another trend like we saw you know, from November of last year in 2023. But what actually happened the next day? We have a gap down and close right back kind of where we started near the 21 EMA. There's no follow through, there's no continuation. And instead we get a gap down and, you know, there's just no, uh, you know, no continuation of that momentum. And that's kind of your first sign that, you know, all's not right uh, and that they kind of sold this move here. What do we get the next day? continuation down we have a gap up again your expectation of a, after a gap up here is we've got strong momentum strong enough for a gap we'd like to see it push up here but what does it do it completely reverses and breaks these lows all of these lows all at once if you know this expectation breaker wasn't a flat red flag this is a huge red flag uh, likely you're stopped out on any new positions on this day that you started on this day i know i was um, you know, you just kind of, you're kind of back to square one. And if you're not stopped out on this day, as it falls through to the downside, that's where you're looking to limit the damage and make sure, um, you know, you're not taking too heavy drawdowns. Uh, this is a very negative bar, really reminiscent of this bar here. And just again, shows that there's, there's something negative happening in the market. Obviously there's been some news events, um, but you know, there's been weakness in the market. That's been subtle weakness really throughout this consolidation you know downside reversals we can't fall through after this gap up we close down never retest those highs big downside reversals negative expectation breakers and this is just kind of the latest piece of evidence of that the next day basically a consolidation day nothing really happens uh we close right where we open uh, but you know there's a little bit more weakness here because we tried to push up after such a negative bar here you might expect some kind of snapback rally we didn't even manage that and we, we kind of closed well off highs. Then the next day we continue down another gap up where they sell it off, uh, very negative, And we really started the downtrend here. Uh, for me, that 21 EMA is really the line in the sand, but we've also got that 50 SMA, which is kind of that longer term, intermediate term uh, trend signal. And we're now below both of those. We're below declining 21 EMA, uh, below declining uh, 10 EMA, which is this um, kind of lighter gray line here. Um, so we're kind of in a downtrend on in terms of the intermediate cycle. Um, and what do we get? Again, a little bit of fall through. Again, we try to push up, but we can't even close anywhere near the highs, close right near the lows, fall through to the downside. 
Uh, so it's very, very weak. Um, and, you know, just as an aside, likely if you're paying attention and watching your stocks, um, you're, you're limiting the damage, you're being stopped out in this area. Uh, some stocks were holding up okay, we'll go through a few. You know, even NVIDIA was holding the 50 SMA until uh, this last bar, which we'll, we'll talk about in just a second. Uh, but let's go ahead actually to that bar. Just further downside, you're seeing some acceleration down, really negative action where um, we open right near the highs, close re early near the lows. This dotted line here marks the high from 2021. We'll go to a weekly chart in just a second. And it feels like we're kind of being pulled towards that. Uh, that's an area of interest. We don't know if we'll find support there if we do test it, uh, but it's an area to be aware of because a lot of people are probably watching that. It's just a significant technical spot. Um, and you know, not only was the index action pretty negative on this day, but the action of the strongest leaders was very negative. NVIDIA, SMCI, those really broke open today as we'll go through in just a minute. Um, so it's not just about the market indexes, which were negative from back in here, but today was kind of the, the final straw where we really saw the, the leaders, the theme that had been holding up really well, AI semis uh, really take some negative hits on volume. Uh, before this, even, even the negative bars on many individual stocks, there wasn't too much volume to speak of, um, and they were holding that 50 SMA for the most part. Uh, some, of course, were, were down bigger, uh, but today really confirmed that uh, the action just is very, very negative, and we're really in a correction at this moment. Uh, really, from this point on, um, my kind of on-off signal in terms of aggressiveness is that 21 EMA, and as soon as we're really negative below that, uh, closing below that, we can't push back above it. It starts declining. That's where kind of it puts me into correction mode. I'm more about playing defense and waiting for a new trend to start. And what will that look like? We've got some type of basing pattern. Uh, we push back above that 21 EMA after some consolidation, and we start to trend above a rising 21 EMA. And that can last for weeks and months. And that's the ideal time to be aggressive, to be trading growth stocks, to be swing trading, position trading. Uh, because there's going to be that kind of institutional lift to everything where the stocks are being supported, any pullbacks are being bought up. Um, and now you're kind of at the flip side of the supply and demand curve where we've had a really nice run. People are taking profits. There's some news events, which is causing uncertainty. Um, there's, there's all this macro stuff as well. Everything's being affected and uh, people are selling their positions that they've been holding and that's what's leading to the selling. So we wanna be trading with that longer term trend um, and uh, you know that trend you can define for yourself. Uh, for me, that 21 EMA is a great guide uh, for my personal style, the 50 SMA as well. And we're below both of those as of this moment. So we just have to wait and see what happens. We're you know pretty far stretched down in just a few days. So I wouldn't be surprised to see kind of some snapback uh, retests of maybe those moving averages to the downside, but looks to me, you know, based on, you know, the markets that I've been through, the charts I've studied, everything, this looks more like the left side of a base. And we still have to kind of form out that stage one on a lower time frame, uh, you know, stabilize, form some support, um, you know, test convictions, all that, because uh, this is just kind of the start today was really when things really took a hit. So we'll have to see how long this takes to kind of correct itself. Uh, but that's a QQQ. Uh, let's go ahead, go ahead over to a weekly chart, uh, get that perspective as well. Uh, so you can see this weekly bar here and these orange bars just mean that it was three weeks tight. So from tightness comes expansion to the upside or downside. You know, we're watching for expansion upwards. Uh, what did we get? We got expansion, expansion downwards and a very negative bar. You know, just looking back on this chart, there's not many bars like this. Um, but, you know, uh, again, this this to, to me says that we need a little bit of time here and uh, really looks like we'll retest this level, maybe even the rising 40 week moving average. But we'll have to see. Uh, we've also got this key level to watch, which might line up with that 40 week, uh, depending how we get there. Uh, but, um, you know, as always, we're all about analyzing things on this channel. We're not about predictions, uh, but we can think about potential scenarios that could happen, how we'll respond, have a plan, all of that. Um, so we're just kind of playing out different scenarios at this point. Uh, you know, we're above a rising 40 week moving average. We're still in that longer term, you know, bull trend, but it looks like we're starting a correction uh, within the context of that longer term uptrend. So have to be ready, have to manage risk. That's the most important thing. Um, you know, um, a lot of people I'm sure have had really strong starts this year and so last year. 
and you want to shoot for preserving, you know, 90% of your capital, you know, limiting that to a 10% drawdown, that's pretty excellent because that means, you know, when we get the start of a new bull trend, a new intermediate term trend, you can make that 10% up pretty quickly and you're not kind of operating from a perspective where you're down 25%, 30%, uh, you're scared, you know, you're hurt. Instead, you're kind of more operating from a, a position of strength, of confidence, and you're able to, you know, take advantage of that new trend. So, you know, uh, taking small losses, limiting drawdowns is all about not just preserving your financial capital, but as everybody says, your your mental capital, preserving that confidence, which is so, so important as a trader. Uh, so let's go ahead now back to uh, that view and let's bring up the IWO and uh, yep that's pretty much it and you can see from the new highs new lows uh, you know breath is kind of pulling back in uh, look at the IWO let's go to a daily chart here you can see the net new highs lows is the same on the QQQ or the IWO just because this is independent of whatever chart I'm showing but you're seeing new highs decrease and then we really started seeing new lows increase over here. So the, the amount of new highs, net new highs, new lows was decreasing over here. And now we've finally gone negative. Breath has been decreasing. We pull, actually increased a little bit today. Um, but, you know, the overall trend of this is down. And really, um, for intermediate corrections, I'm watching kind of that 20 level uh, in terms of 20%. And we're still well above that. So there's still room to go down on this indicator. Look at IWO. This gives kind of a a, a pretty good picture of what a lot of growth stocks look like. Uh, we've been pulling in, uh, we've had these big reversals, weren't able to push higher. Uh, we leaked below this base pivot where I was expecting some support and just kind of very simply in a downtrend as of this moment below declining 21 EMA, 50 SMA is flatlining and below declining 10 EMA as well. So you can keep it as simple as that. Uh, so as the IWO, um, looking at the mega caps, it's really nice in this dashboard view to have these here as well. Um, looking at Google, this is holding up actually pretty well. We're holding that 21 EMA. Um, Apple, a lot more negative. You know, you can see just in a downtrend as of this moment. Uh, Microsoft uh, breaking down below the moving averages. Uh, Tesla, obviously in a stage for downtrend, um, just very negative downtrend. You can see we really re got, got rejected from that 21 EMA. Amazon hit hard today, back below the moving averages. Uh, Meta, this is holding up really nicely. Uh, you can see how we faded yesterday's high here and then fall through to the downside. Again, a little bit of an expectation breaker and a, a subtle sign of weakness that you should try to pick up on. Uh, we weren't able to push higher and build on this day. Instead, what do we do? We got rejected down. Um, NVIDIA, this one really was uh, hit hard today. Uh, you can see very negative bar. We were right at the 50 SMA yesterday, formed a handle, uh, or not a, not a handle, a hammer candle, uh, watching for potential move upwards back through the 21 EMA. And instead we got a very negative bar distribution breaking that key moving average. Um, and uh, looks like this needs you know a lot more time to absorb this. We'll see what happens. Do we get a snapback? Do we start to stabilize around this area? We've got the potential gap that we could fill here. I know a lot of traders are watching that. Uh, but to me, we just kind of need need time and need to be patient um, and kind of see where this takes us. Looking at the themes ETFs, uh, you know, very negative today. Uh, let's go ahead and sort that. Uh, you can see, you know, pretty much uh, these names, uh, utilities were up, silver, miners continue to be pretty strong. Uh, down here, SMH, tech, um, you know, online, e-commerce, those were hit very, very hard. Uh, pretty much uh, as we've talked about previously, you can get that uh, from just the cues, which is pretty tech dominated. Uh, so that's a brief sense of the market indexes, you know, big liquid mega cap tech stocks, and then also uh, some groups and themes. Uh, you know, semis AI has been the leading kind of group theme, and that's what got hit hard today. And if that's not leading the market, there's not a lot of growth stocks that are going to outperform in that type of environment. And really the stocks have been showing RS have been kind of like uh, miners, especially as we'll take a look in just a second, uh, but also, you know, insurance companies, stuff that's kind of unrelated to technology. And bring up this list that I made a few days ago, you can see, you know, a lot of names have gotten hit very hard. Uber's been a leader. Um, Hood got hit hard. Coin uh, is pulling back in. It's holding up okay, but uh, it's right near the 50 SMA if we bring up that chart. And let's actually load up uh, this template here. 
and you can see that we're getting a little bit rejected here at that 50 SMA. So we'll see if this falls to the downside or if it still kind of firms up and forms the bottom of a base, holding a better than at least the semis, but still uh, definitely showing some weakness and definitely want to bring up SMCI in this video um, and uh, show that very negative candle uh, just because they didn't pre-announce great earnings. Um, and uh, obviously you've got this reversal down here. That's a subtle tell fall through to the downside, breaking back below this pivot and then gap down and fall through to the downside, close near lows, very negative bar down 23% on a pickup in volume. Um, and really we haven't made much progress since this reversal. We had a reversal up here, that's a subtle sign. Reversal down here, gap down, weren't able to rally and just kind of lower highs, lower lows um, as we form out this structure. And now we're breaking below these lows and uh, really accelerating to the downside. So we'll see what happens here, but this looks to me like it needs a lot of time. Now bring up the DFU leader screen and sorting by uh, one month relative strength, absolute strength. Uh, you can see miners are the clear leaders up here. Uh, we've also got a few names like CPNG, which have been holding up pretty well. Uh, but you know, uh, this isn't quite the ideal environment, even though this is holding up well and showing RS, you just have to kind of track this because until the market turns around, you don't have that tailwind to buy individual stocks. You can definitely watch this, uh, keep RS lists, keep monitoring stocks that are holding up really well forming out setups and that will be your tell when the environment approves is uh, those setups will really you know be all over the place uh, they'll start forming promising pivots up the right hand side and the indexes will be forming up um, all that will be coming together but right now you just have a few kind of holding up um, that haven't gotten hit yet and uh, just have to monitor those and keep note of those because they could be leaders in the next cycle uh, but you just have to be patient in this moment. But the real thing that I wanna show here on the DFU leaders list is just the miners all the way at the top here, um, holding up really well. Uh, PAAS uh, is one I want to show. I'm not even sure if that's on uh, the leaders, but we'll go ahead and bring it up. Uh, but a lot of miners look very similar to this, have had a really strong move and now kind of consolidating tightly. So this can be one to watch um, if this is your type of uh, you know trade and uh, an area you like to focus on. Uh, but that's pretty much it for what I want to talk through today in terms of the stock market outlook video. Um, you know, we're in a correction. Uh, you know, you're kind of best suited right now to work on your system, work on your process, keep monitoring in terms of relative strength. Uh, take this time to take a little bit of a step away uh, while staying engaged, but you know, make sure you're refreshing your uh, mental health, your mental capital, and above all else, you know, managing risks nicely, not getting chopped up, trying to, you know, catch bottoms, wait till that trend is with you wait to the kind of stock market sucks you back in um, and uh, wait for that market cycle sweet spot to develop again. When we're pushing back up through the rising 10, 21 EMA, that's when we can make a lot of money and a lot of progress as growth traders, swing traders, and position traders. Uh, so with that said, remember that anything can happen. Uh, you just have to be ready. And as bad as any, anything can look, I'll kind of be saying this for the next few weeks, as bad as anything can look, it's amazing how just in a few short days, things can look a lot better. So you always gotta be ready, even if you know the market's in correction, um, and that will kind of keep you ahead uh, once we do get that next uptrend. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please go ahead and leave a like down below. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care.